Hey guys, welcome back to an immersion. In this tutorial today, I'm gonna show you how to create audio waves that could react to your music in After Effects. So the first thing you want to do is to have your music in your composition. Just make sure that it's something that has like low and high frequency like this. And then you want to create a solid and just call it audio waves. And then go to your effects and presets and look for audio spectrum. Now when you tap in audio, there's two options here and you can actually use both of them to achieve this audio waves. but. In this case, I'm going to use audio spectrum, but just quickly. So basically audio spectrum is a frequency domain display. So it's a display of amplitude versus frequency, whereas audio waveform is a time domain display. So it's a display of amplitude versus time. I am probably not the best person to explain this because I don't have music background, but um, that's what I found on Google. Someone else who's watching this video could probably explain it better. So we're just going to focus on audio spectrum for today. Drop that into your layer. And then as soon as you do that, you see that there's this dots, which is basically going to be your waves. You want to change the audio layer to your audio is. In this case, it's layer number two. And then as soon as you do that, you can already see that the graphics moving. I'm just going to quickly explain what these settings are. So start point and end point is just basically this and this. So it's just kind of like change the start point and end point of your graphics. You can also change like the um, Y position, but we don't really need that. So I'm just going to leave it for now as default. And then there's also path. So basically, if you have a mask on your layer, so I'm just going to create a quick mask here. And then if you change your path to your mask, your waves is going to follow your mask. But we don't want to do that for now. So I'm just going to um, delete the mask, actually. Now there's also this use polar path. So if you turn that on, it just kind of like brings the whole thing to the start point. I don't usually turn that on, so I'm just going to leave it as off. And there's also start frequency and end frequency. So it's just at what frequency do you want to start your graphic at and also the what frequency you want to end it. At this moment, it's 20 and 2000. So if you turn it down, it's basically kind of like zooming in to your audio because the gap between 20 and 200 is not as high as 200 and 2000. So when the gap is big, it just kind of like zooms out from the frequency. So I'm going to change it to 500 and see how that looks like. I think that is fine for now. And there's also frequency bands. That is basically just this lines. Those are the bands. So if you bring it up, it just create more bands and it just becomes more dense. You can even like do it like that if that's the look that you want to go for. I'm just going to turn it back to 64 and just adjust it from there. I think I just want to bring it up a little bit, maybe somewhere there. And then the maximum height is just the maximum height of your waves. And then there's also audio duration. It's in milliseconds. So basically at the moment, it only shows 90 milliseconds of your music. But if you bring it up to say a thousand, it shows a thousand milliseconds of your music. So that's why it just kind of like slow like that. So usually I just kind of like make it around like a hundred, a hundred or 90, somewhere there. And then thickness is basically the thickness of your bands and softness is just the softness of your bands as well. So if you bring it up, it just kind of like soften it up and then it's just become harsh. Inside color and outside color, it basically, inside color is the inside color of each band. So if you change it, for example, to blue, it just changes the inside and outside color is basically the outline. So if you change it to, I don't know, yellow, it just becomes like that. But I'm going to leave it as pink for now. And then you can change the hue interpolation. So the higher hue interpolation it is, it'll create this gradient or rainbow. So the higher it is, the more gradient you'll see. So it's really up to you on what kind of like colors you want to go for. So 
I'm probably just gonna leave it at that. And then you can also play around with the dynamic hue phase just to play around with the color and also color symmetry. So it basically, if you turn it on, it basically just kind of like mirrored your color. As you can see, there's pink on the start point and pink at the end point. So if you turn it off, it's not mirrored anymore. And then display options, this is the fun bit. You can change it to analog lines to create this kind of like, like Art Monkeys AM album cover. And you can also change it to analog dots and just has this cool moving dots. I'm just gonna stick to digital for now. And then side A and side B, if you change it to side A, it just kind of shows the top half. Side B shows the bottom half and yeah, and if it's side A and B, it shows both of them. All right, that's actually pretty much it, but I'm actually gonna make this into a rounded circle. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna create a circle mask on the layer itself. And then I'm gonna make sure that I turn the mask to none because we're just using this mask for this path. So change the path to mask one to follow um, the mask that you have and obviously now I just have to readjust everything again because it obviously doesn't look good the first thing I want to change is to change the side options I just want it to be showing on the top half so that's gonna be side A oops sorry side B and then I'm gonna add the frequency band so it's kind of like become more dense a little bit and then turn down the maximum height to somewhere there possibly even add a little bit more of the frequency band and let's play it. Yeah, it looks pretty good to me. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. And the last thing is I just want to add this glow just to kind of like add a special effect to it. I'm going to turn up the glow radius a little bit. And yeah, it's just a small effect that you can add to your audio spectrum. So yeah, that's how you create audio waves. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy this. If you have any comments or suggestions, leave it in the comments below. And feel free to follow me on Instagram. You can tag me if you create something by following my tutorial. Usually I would repost every Friday. And you can also join our motion design community on Patheon. Feel free to message me on Instagram on how to join the community itself. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.